If you ever thought to yourself why your designs don't look as good as they should, well then this video is just for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you 6 things that you can follow to make your designs look professional, modern and just outstanding. Let's follow along. Have a look at this website. This looks ugly and horrendous. We're going to implement those 6 steps and make it into this. But wait, you're not here to see what can be done. You're here to see how it can be done. So let's get into it. First step is typography. Typography is important. Every great website have a balanced, good typography. Trust me. Have a look at these designs. Every great design is empowered by clean and balanced typography. Some use single font and some use pair of fonts. Some use simple fonts and some use funky fonts. But typography sets the tone of the website. First thing first, let's set a font. I'm choosing enter. I'm going to use one font. After that, I'm going to create different sizes for this text. I have body, body large up to heading one. And I've already created local styles for this so that I can reuse this in my design. Now let's jump back to our design and start applying this typography. For main headings, I like to use heading one, which is 56 pixels. And for the subheading, I use body large, which is 24 pixels. And for the spacing in between these two, I like to use a formula, which is the height of your main text divided by two. So for H1, I will divide this by two and add that spacing. For the buttons, let's change the text to body. I'm going to select the body, which is 16 pixels. Again, for the spacing, I'm going to divide the height of these buttons by two. There you go. And let's adjust the text of this one. Actually, first apply the body size for this, which is 16 pixels, and make it in one line. Just drag this to make it into one line. Actually, let's modify this text as well and make it into two lines, but with more words, like feels like home. Perfect. Now for the secondary headings, I'm going to choose H3. So let's select all these secondary headings and select H3. And for the subheadings like this one, I'm going to apply H6. So there is clear distinction. And actually, let's change the body text as well. But before that, let's select this one and make it body large. And now select all the text, all the body text, and make it into body, body font. And change the button as well. Now, to improve readability, let's align everything on the left side. Just like this. Now let's do this for everything else. This will improve the readability extensively. Just changing the typography will not make a lot of difference. But trust me, when you apply all these six steps, it's going to change your UI designs completely. Next on the list is grids. Humans find things that are properly aligned visually appealing. Unless you're designing for animals, I say stick with a grid to align stuff properly. To add a grid, just click this layout grid option and now change this grid by clicking it. And let's change this grid to a column grid and change it to 12 columns. There you go. Now what I'd like to do is place all my content within column two and column 11 like this, just so that we have nice margins around our designs. Now let's align everything else inside these columns, just like this. Once you do that, it already starts looking pretty nice. And there you go. And if you want to turn off a grid, just select your frame and you can even switch this off and turn it on if you want. Now let's combine these grids with spacing and see the results. Think of spacing as breathing room for your designs. If you don't have enough space, your designs can feel suffocated. And if there is huge spacing, then it can feel a bit lonely. Generally, spacing gives an impression of luxury. Just look at these two images of apple.com from 2003 and 2024. We can clearly tell 2024 website feels so luxury and premium. So spacing does matter. Let's add the spacing technique in our design. As of now, we don't have enough breathing room. So let's fix that by adding some white space. Divide things in sections like we have our header section and this clientele section and choose an appropriate spacing. I'm choosing something like 140 pixels. Let's do this for all the sections here. 
just like this. And there you go. Now let's add some spacing in these cards here as well. There you go. And once you're done, you can already see much improvement in the design. Now, next to our important step, colors. Colors are extremely important. They can be used to make your designs look good and trigger underlying emotions, for example, trust and hunger. Red color triggers hunger emotions. That is why most of the fast food brands use red color. For colors, what I recommend is always choose fewer base colors. One primary for your call to actions, one for text, and one for your backgrounds. For other things, we could just use different opacities for these base colors. I'm choosing a dark background, so my text is white, and my primary color is blue. And I've already added these colors into my variable sections. Just go in here and you can see all these colors. I have all my variables here, primary color, and I have different opacities for this primary color, like 5% and 75% and for the page background I have this dark background and for text I have white text and for other shades of text I have text as 50% and I have an on button white text and let's add these colors in our design so first of all I'm just gonna select all these buttons and start applying these variables so I have the same color as primary so it's not gonna change much so for the text I'm gonna set is as on button text which is white and for the frame, uh, sorry, for the logo, I'm going to select the text and the logo as well and set them as on button text so that uh, when I change the background to dark, it will uh, light up as white. And for the text, I'm going to make it text white as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply the variable. Where is that? text variable and I'm going to change the background for this one so that I can just see for now. Uh, I will change the background later on but yeah so that's how you do it uh, and for the subtext what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and choose text 50% because it's uh, a bit muted text and for this button over here I'm going to choose a primary with 5% opacity and for the text I'm going to select as text white and there you go. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is change the rest of the colors to white as well, quickly. All right, so I'm just going to select the text white for these ones. And for the body text and the subtexts, I'm just going to quickly select them all and give them a text with 50% because these are uh, muted texts. Now, let's just give it a background. And now you can see how good this looks with just applying four techniques. And we still have to apply two techniques, which is gonna take it to the next level. Next step, breaking rules. Let's talk about it. Although it looks good when everything is aligned perfectly, but sometimes you can break the rules, but you have to be careful so that you don't overdo it. For example, if we just move this clientele beyond our grid levels, just like this, it's gonna look like it's going out of the page and if we just make them fade away into the screen, it's going to look that it's scrollable horizontally and it does feel good. Same thing can be done for these cards here as well. I'm going to make them uh, horizontally scrollable just like this. It already looks so good that it's going off the screen and it gives you the sense of that this screen part is scrollable. So breaking through does matter. We've already covered five rules now for the last one, which makes the most impact detailing. This makes all the difference in the world. So far, your design looks good and balanced, but it's not interesting and out of the box. So to spice things up, we introduce some details like visuals. Look for some trends of the modern industry. For example, 3D isometric shapes and images and glowing effects in the dark modes are quite popular trends in 2024. So let's see how we can introduce these trends in our design. Usually I recommend mid-journey to create awesome AI-generated visual design based on your needs. But if you don't have mid-journey, I suggest you go to freepick.com and look for what you're looking for. Uh, in my case, I'm going to look for 3D house and search. And there you have it. Beautiful isometric 3D houses. And some of them are AI generated. So if I select them, 
I even have an option to remove the background right from the FreePick tool. And once you're happy with that, you can download this as PNG. But I do suggest to attribute the designer so you can read all about how to attribute over here. I've already downloaded some images, so I'm just gonna bring them in here just like this one and place it over here. It does look awesome. Now let's do this for the other images here as well. So I'm gonna bring all the images for these three and I'm gonna replace them just like this. There you go. And for these two over here, I'm gonna bring a circular image just like this. Now, just have a look at this design. It has drastically changed from where we started. It looks so professional now. Another thing that I would want to do is add a glow effect. So I'm just gonna drag a circle right here. I'm gonna give this my primary color and I'm gonna give it a effect, which is going to be layer blur and I'm gonna change it to 50% blur and change the opacity to something like 5% or maybe 7%, yeah, it works. And I'm gonna do this for the other images there as well. There you go. And for these images here as well. Perfect. Now, just see where we started and where we have reached by just applying these six techniques. It's so simple. Follow these six steps and your UI design is going to look super professional. I promise. So that was it for today's video. We completely turned around an ugly UI design into an awesome looking UI design with just following six easy techniques. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Yours sincerely, Average Design Dude. Peace out.